Okay. This conference will now be recorded. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. She's on the way. <coughs> she forgot her own. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I put one more thing. That's what uh, usually happens. <laughs> usually. We'll call this meeting a work session to order to talk about the health department leadership. And again, this is just a work session. No decisions will be made. And we're waiting for DJ to. Did you all get the information that I emailed to you? Yes. Oh, you, I have the answer. I couldn't find it. Because it was from you, not yes. you. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't find it. I just got it the other day. I know. I was <laughs> looking and looking. It had to be there. It was from me. Got okay. It. You got it yesterday. It helps me. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fun fact about the cats, they're, they've gone into the extension building now. Mm. They went inside. <laughs> inside underneath or inside? In through the door. Oh. Went through the door. Move right in. Yeah. I'll probably just make a copy of this for Randy. They get pretty scored. I've got a cat that's going down to open the screen door. <laughs> get that claw right after it. Right there it is. to discuss maybe having outside <coughs> well, you talk about that now beforehand or wait well, what your thoughts are um, I just <coughs> there are some things that, that have to be done 
and that probably one of the very important things is the health officer has to be identified and appointed on um, the 21st or the 20th. Um, that, I believe, isn't that take a kind of an oath or something? <coughs> Uh, I don't know. I but mean, that, that would be that. something that we need to ask. Maybe. Health officer now. So. No, I don't. No, you're so, okay. so he's Dr. Hudson. Right now is the consultant, and he was getting paid um, a quarter, hundred dollars a quarter. Okay. Now through COVID, we got money through the grants, and so he gets one hundred fifty dollars a month. I know that health officer in Harvey County was being paid $1,000. This is all prior COVID. Of course, they are paying him more, and I'm not sure what it is, what his rate is now. He's but also the county coroner? He, Hudson is the coroner. Right. Yeah. But he gets it, paid separate for that. He, I believe he gets paid separate for that, and he's also the EMS, medical at least director. used to be the medical director for the EMS, and he would get paid out of the EMS budget for that. So that is something that I kind of talked with him a little bit about and told him to call or contact Dr. Detweiler from Harvey County just to get a feel for how much time it really takes, you know. Um, so he was gonna do that. But you might want to contact him after the 17th um, and see if he would be willing to at least be interim. Um, Any other interest internally? Or anyone um, that you would recommend, I guess that's what I would um, be asking. There, there is not really anyone internally who wants um, wants the position. So, um, they, I don't think, I think they're comfortable with the responsibilities they currently have. So. Um, and can you give us a status? Any applications coming in? Uh, we've had one application so far. Okay. Is that person qualified? Uh, I haven't really studied it a whole lot. We're just accepting the applications. Yeah. Uh, they appear to potentially be. Okay. Yeah. And if they're like have some medical, you know, I think they could, because in the smaller counties, a lot of times it is the director who is also maybe a nurse or has some medical background. They have been health officer. So um, I don't know how you might want to appoint Dr. Hodson interim or see if he wants to do it. I mean, the other option is if Dr. Hodson wants to take it, he could do health officer and then this would just, the person you hire could be just the health department director so that's that's I guess my bigger concern right now is the administer, administrative part and and that's why I have talked to because grants are due the 15th of October I can um, ask for an extension and they will probably give it I mean um, it's it's a system that we go into so they would have to get familiar with that um, that might be something that Harvey County would be willing to do um, we can call her Lynette she's the director at Harvey County and at 1 30 we can give her a call and then um, she can kind of tell you if she would even want to do it what she could provide and so forth. Um, I know I had at one point talked to her about, because they had our maternal child health grant, 
and they um, then they dropped it completely because the reporting got um, really cumbersome for the amount of money they got. A lot of health departments dropped it. Um, but if you're looking toward the future, that might be something um, that you look into as we go under them, regionalize, kind of a little more regionalize, have the health department open so many days a week and operate under, under the yeah, I believe that's an option, but I also believe that's a, a long term to get in place. I've got a feeling there's probably a lot of hoops to jump through with maybe interlocal agreements and that sort right. of thing. And, right. You know, signing off by this commission. Yeah, that, that year, would have it's to not, take... It's not something you're going to do in 30 days. No, no. That would have to be a, um, oh, like a, a process. Yeah. Right. You know, but that's just something to think about in the future. Well, I think a lot but, of small counties, it's not just not just health departments. Right. They're, you know, we've got appraisers serving mm -hmm. many counties. We've got uh, uh, some other mm -hmm. office, you know. Right. That. And and like our WIC program, we I sent you guys the WIC budget mm -hmm. and then the spreadsheet, so you'll notice that. Um, Morris County is basically under us and um, they do everything we do our they do their part we do our part and then Jess um, compiles everything sends it in so that way the state only has to monitor so often because they're required to monitor the um, a program um, every so often so you're mentioning that the grant process is due October 15th. How, I mean, how much more grant processes are there through the year? These, these uh, the fiscal, um, I don't know if I included that in the email that I sent to you. Yeah, um, the aid to local FSRs, that's our fiscal financial um, documentation and those reports are due like January 15th, April 15th, July 15th, and October 15th because the state fiscal year our grants run from July through June so our first period fiscal reports are due October 15th. Okay. So when you're saying grants are due, are you just talking about reporting? You're not yeah. talking about grant yeah. applications. Yeah, no, the, the applications are typically done in March. They were a little okay. later. Okay, I, I was thinking, I was thinking yeah. so you said yeah, the, budget. the grant yeah. process is not yeah. going the reporting. The, the, reporting. Yeah. Okay. the reporting, and I have folders for all the grants. Um, Jess keeps track, like when I sit down and do go over bills with Jess, I say charge this to this. And then um, she will keep track of those. And then at the end of the quarter, like once she does, we get September's pay. She'll get those to me. Then I compile them and fill out the financial report. And then also a little progress report with that. Upload the documents. So it's it's a just a process i mean everything's in the folder um i gave you that that salary sheet that kind of shows how we break down the charges of salaries and the grants don't always pay a hundred percent of that like state formula usually doesn't pay a hundred percent but that's i can't charge 50% to each grant. I have to chart, make sure it's only 100%. Yeah. So this is kind of my cheat sheet that I, that I go by. I guess to come back, you're, for the administrative side, 
the recommendation would maybe be for the administration of the grants, look at a partnership with Harvey County, if they would be willing at least to get us through the transition. Yeah, they were at least, I know that Harvey County will be on call, can be on call, and all of these, I have a list, and I'll put phone numbers with this list too, they can call and the state can basically walk them through. You know, I think right now the important thing is that we have someone that they can call if they have questions because a lot of the school plans, a lot of in entities, plans say, well, what your local health department um, advises. Well, we, um, Wanda can do that some, but she, I don't think, wants the total responsibility. So, that's who we need to figure out. Who are we going to refer those people to? To the new health officer? To the well, administrator? And I think, I think those questions like, like we're getting a lot because schools are doing testing to stay and learn and we're getting a lot of questions and I think that's something you would ask Dr. Hodson um, because he's really good if there's some complicated ones, you know, we'll call him. Um, but Dr. And Hodson is traveling a lot. He does, he does travel and that... Do we need one of the other doctors to be there? Well, that's the other option. You know, but, but I think whoever you get to be the contact person, that needs to, they need a little bit of incentive to do that. Like, oh, yeah. you yeah. know, sure. mm -hmm. so. Um, can a PRN do that? Can a PRN? PRN? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would that be a doctor? No, it wouldn't oh. have to be a doctor. It could be one of sometime but the problem is Wanda's doing the investigation she's overseeing the immunizations and um, that's what I've been kind of fielding those calls because it seems like in this county we've got a lot more of the PRN type people than the new doctors don't we oh the APRNs oh, yeah yes. yeah <laughs> No yeah. practice issue. Right. Practice. Right. That's what I should have said. Yeah, it yeah. could yeah. be. I mean, PRN is as required, as, yeah. as needed. So you're doubling down on your statement, as so, needed, as needed. So yeah, that. I mean, if we can find someone to do that, if they, I don't know, it might be good for someone that's maybe retired because sometimes it's hard to get a hold of them if they have I know they're busy if they're sure, in they're practice, practice. Yeah. you know which and they don't <coughs> just get a hold of me right away but I try and get back with them within a good time frame um, and it might be that that if Dr. Hudson is okay with it that we contact him by emails. I mean, you know, yeah. have them send an email. I'm not so sure he'd want his phone number. Like, we don't usually give his phone number out. Um, you know, and maybe during the time, just a couple weeks, Wanda would probably do that. So like, you know? while you were gone before, um, you had, you know, everybody took action to, well, have Wanda oversee the health related mm -hmm. aspect of running the health department, like the medical side, with Dr. Oh, Hodgson as the interim health officer, uh -huh. and um, then your office manager as the uh, or your billing specialist, whatever uh, Jessica's position is, was in charge of the administrative pieces. Uh, I don't know if you've talked to your staff at all about would they be willing to potentially do a, a great, an arrangement like that in the interim if we get all the parts and pieces in place while the board can decide you know if they're how they're going to go through the hiring process and whether they're going to consult or I think I've talked to them they would do that for a, a very short time but they don't 
they're worried that it might um, stop. <laughs> might drag on and um, it might be a good idea like on Monday to see if the board and you know if we could meet with <coughs> with them with them yeah. also yeah. to see what their own is. But I will say that I think Tina will have to be the PIO because they no one now Marcy has some training in PIO but the the others prefer not to speak and it's probably um, in our best interest that some people don't speak to them. So by what um, specifically have you been doing for the health department for PIO and what like how often and what what are you actually doing right now? Right now they all call me. Um, I talked to um, Phyllis like she called last night. Um, it's usually Tuesday before the paper comes out if something has changed and that's the other thing I was going to ask you if we could I haven't talked to one of the nurses but if we could do the dashboard and just put our dashboard up on our Facebook page do it Monday through Friday instead of sending out to the Commission to the press to the you know weekly um, would that be an option? And then I would just tell, because I talked with Phyllis and she thought maybe that would potentially work. Yeah, I would like it better sent out while we're still doing COVID. I mean, after maybe it's time next Once, year. Quick. Do you want? Do you want it like if we do a, a posting every day on this Facebook, but true. then do your Monday morning, yeah, like send it, yeah. send it to Tina, mm -hmm. you know, like we have been doing. You don't have an email list, just send it out to Yeah, you. we have a group, but, you know, she sends it to our Facebook and Judy to put it on, and then she has a group for press, and then she has a group for a commission. So, so it's a um, small group of 30 people. So yeah. It's not 100. No. But I guess how important how important is that to you guys to get it daily versus once a week? I mean, I'm gonna I'm telling you, by the time I went back to the office after I'd given you the report, we had seven more. Seven more. Yeah, <laughs> seven more. Yeah. So speaking for me, I don't want it more than once a week. Okay. I like the Facebook. Okay, just post it. Are they going to have time to post it every single day? Well, what they do is they just send it to Aaron and then Aaron updates it. Yeah. So you have yeah. somebody that could do it every yeah. day. Yeah. And then I think what she's saying is can the press just get the information there mm -hmm. and it's more up to date rather than having to have communication with the office at least once a week or have a special yeah, type of communication they have a place they, last night yeah, the they can always she an article. yeah and and she got Monday Street if, yeah. if Tina is the PIO you know you would depend on Dr. Hodson if it's medical if it's statistical you'd ask Wanda but if it deals like I got a call about um, you know this agreement with Tabor and she wanted to know all this information about Tabor um, I just refer her to Tabor you know they need to same way with with schools or nursing homes or hospitals if they have issues I don't answer any of that so um, and usually they're pretty good about that now there are some that continually press and that's where I don't think the staff should have to deal with that. So you're used to, <laughs> to dealing with that. And you can kind of, I mean, you know, after you get to, don't you, I mean, you deal with them. Yeah. And so, I mean. So long and short of the story is that you, you think that the people don't, they're gonna put it out daily no matter what. 
or not? Um, while we're, I would say until we peak and then we start seeing a decline. Daily. Daily. Okay. Yeah. So why is Monday that not, through Friday? Monday through Friday. Okay. Is that not good enough for Phyllis? Um, that will be good enough for Phyllis. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Because um, she wants because because it comes out on Monday, like what we mm -hmm. had done. Yourself. Well, she does articles, or the paper comes out on Wednesday. So since we had that rise after I had to even talk to you, um, it, she wants more real time for the paper. And you, have they just been doing the dashboard every week? Once yes. Week? Yeah. So you're talking about doing the dashboard every day and posting. Yeah. 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 That, 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 and is, that is sufficient for Marion County. So I'm yes. And concerned. the information that we include, like the active know, cases, the hospitalizations, I'm sure. and the um, deaths, that's all we're planning to include. Yeah. Yeah. And instead of you having to go to each person, the person can go to the Facebook. Right, yeah. right. And we'll advertise, yes. you know, that it'll be on Facebook. And Monday through Friday. They don't have to be on the right. weekends. I don't, yeah. I don't see no reason for that. Yeah, because yeah. the, the nurses Friday, yeah. do work, kind of rotate weekends. They um, have to look look through and route cases what they're doing now and what they'll continue until the state tells us we can't will be to um, route cases to KDHE now if it's in cases involving a nursing long-term care facility the nurses keep those cases but all the others get routed to KDHE so Right on going, Dave. You're, you're running the meeting. Go ahead. I'm just sitting in there following now. I'm just I'm following what you got to do. I get ready to call Newton, I guess. Yeah. Well, I want to touch on one thing before. Um, you sent us this uh, uh, job description, basically with administrator crossed out, director, and then health officer, like bubbled off. Uh huh. Is that what you? I mean, you really thinking that? position ought to be split into two. I'm, I'm just saying if someone comes in and doesn't want the responsibility of the health officer, you know, in non-COVID times, it's not too bad. I mean, um, most of the time we've used it is with like TB. You know, if we have TB cases, then you have the whole um, quarantine issue um, so you have to craft a letter kind of an order um, COVID you know we've had to write orders and and people don't always like that and so that might I'm just saying that might scare people away from applying for this job as a uh, and you got some notes in here as far as medical versus non-medical so the health officers it's less medical um, if, if you split it out, then, um, the health officer is medical, but I don't know if you would have separate job descriptions, but why I split that out is if you had a health officer, then you had a non-medical person in there, then some of those things they wouldn't actually be doing, the so highlighted in yellow. Up. You know, they could um, possibly learn some of the epi um, training for COVID and help investigate because I know other counties are not using nurses to investigate. Um, where you kind of run into the problem is when people call in and they want to know nursing related questions. Um, Sometimes people shouldn't be giving information, but they're asking, and so those boundaries. And when we've done the advertising, we uh, we are advertising for a medical person at this point, with the uh, going under the assumption that we're going to try to get some applications to do the job description. As we 
Right. Yeah. yeah. The full thing. Yeah. But it, it, I think Deidre right. was just trying to provide you with another option that right. if we don't get qualified right. applicants for that, yeah. that we could try yep. to split that. Right. Appreciate having that. Yeah, right. that's what I was looking for. Was yeah. the flexibility. Oh. Yep. The um, but the only one that has to be filled is the health officer. I mean, well, by, that by the deadline. The they deadline. they both need to be filled at ASAP. Yes, but and they you need to have a director interim just so that questions can be directed but the health officer in case something happens you really need to have that appointed so on, on before but there was a date you said earlier well well it's well my last day is the 20th well, so, so they isn't, would, isn't it it isn't like the appraiser or something where we have to send no, she's I mean, just saying you could you need to do it the 20th. to take over when yeah. she leaves. And I would say you need to also have an interim department director or a group of people serving in that role, but that's officially appointed to. But when she, you know, before she's ready to leave, like if you did it on the 20th on her last day, yeah. it'd be perfect. Yeah. You know, because right. they they still have to be able to run the department. They have to have authority to sign for the bills, to sign paperwork for the department, possibly for grant paperwork, for all kinds of things. So much and much for much staff general. supervision, I mean, all that. And you're you saying have that that's a possibility as long as it's short term? The interim. The interim. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, and I think we yeah, want to just like, verify that with any right, staff that's because already there. Because like I years, can, like I'm gonna go over bills with Jess on Friday and I'll tell her what grant they get charged to, but then I won't be here to sign the right. um, voucher board and someone has to sign it. Also payroll, like I'll lock and approve on Monday because it's due on Tuesday, but I won't be here to sign payroll. And then you will need to assign someone to do payroll and I, um, because I'm the one that goes in and makes all the corrections and approve, approves. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not so sure that, I don't think, you know, the nurse, one of the nurses would want to do that. And I'm, I'm not so sure I have a person. I think that would generally go to the responsibility of whoever would be assigned that the director of the administrative portion, but there would be able to have help from our office yeah. and support, so, okay. So, um, I did wanna cross out, I crossed out some things that we no longer, we no longer have the Healthy Start program. Um, Sherry coordinates the WIC program. Um, I actually, the director will make the budget for that. Um, we don't have a car seat rental program anymore. And the update the bioterrorism plans, that is actually Marcy that is doing that as the preparedness coordinator. So, so yeah, if we want to call, um, Tina, do you have a phone in here? Yeah. I have a phone, I just don't have the number. Okay, the number is... So all the... We can call her cell phone, 316. Well, maybe I should just come and look at it so you're not releasing it on the oh, airways. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think like there's a camera yeah. right behind you. Yeah. Oh, they probably saw <laughs> Okay, it's which one? This one. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure we'll get her.
Don't put you on speaker. You're on the clear chair. Can you talk? Sure, I can. Can you hear me all right? Yes, I hear you, but I'm going to see if the other end of the table can hear you. Let's. let's okay. Is there a bite? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Let's, let's try again. Okay. Try it yeah. one more time so we can hear you. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Lynette Reddington with the Harvey County oh. Health Department. Okay, is that good enough for that end? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to turn you over to um, Deidre, Deidre. Deidre and uh, Dave Crowfoot. I just, I was tardy today and absent, so they know what they've discussed so far, and I'm going to sit here and listen, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, great. All righty. And, and Lynette, we are in open session in the commission yes. meeting right now, just so yes. you're aware. Okay. Thank so, you. You're welcome. <laughs> So Lynette, basically I was just um, wanting to kind of get your input on what kind of support you can help us with. Um, it might be some grants, because as you know, the FSRs are due in October. And as far as like where if maybe we could direct questions which might be a little hard because the way your county is doing things may not be quite the way our county is you know as far as you know how we get the school questions the entity questions okay i'm losing a little bit there Deidre. you're going in and out yeah. okay we were a little closer. Yes, I'm right now. So, do you want to talk? You want me to talk a little bit about uh, October oh, as SRs and helping get those for you? What did you need there? Yes. Yeah. What kind of support would you be willing to give us, Marion County interim? <laughs> okay. So right now, um, we I've had a very small discussion with our county administrator here in Harvey County. He is, uh, and I just want to lay it on the table for you, he has asked me to uh, put together the financial picture and what that would look like if we wanted to propose to um, assist the Marion County Health Department and kind of make it one with Harvey County. Uh, I am in the midst of COVID as everyone else is with the health department, so that job has not been completed on my end. Uh, if you needed some assistance for getting reports in, I would need to um, do a little bit of conversation again with the county administrator on that and would suggest we, uh, if everything goes just fine, we would uh, write up some kind of agreement to um, assist with doing that it may have some financial uh, attached to it obviously because it will take that time to do that and uh county harvey county commission has not been brought into the full conversation because again we're just in the uh research stages right now and, and trying to see what we could do to, to assist your folks in marion county and um still have a, a strong health department for you and for us And I, I, I just think that that's more than, I think mean, we're more than willing to understand about, you know, it is financial and we need to have that. That's, that's, that is a good start. And so everybody's on the upfront there. Uh, I think there's, is there any other questions, Dave, that you would like to ask right off the get-go to, to, that you need answered or just have to keep going? Yeah, just have to keep going. I mean, we're just trying to, yeah, cover I'm everything and okay. make sure all the the paperwork to keep the government happy. Yeah, this and meeting today is really just about the contingency plan. Yeah. And and I think that the state will be acceptance in extensions for the FSRs. Um, but if you can be like like you have, you know, already in consultation, if we, if um, we need to ask you questions 
about things is that oh. like phone calls i mean we're already doing yeah. that um, yeah that's that's definitely something we can help uh provide resources for we're always uh, connecting with each other to ensure that uh, we keep consistency with how things are being delivered and reports are being sent in so that is not going to be an issue i would assume that your uh, financial person would be doing the FSR C3 is that correct um no I do those you don't believe she'll be there for that um we don't our financial person does not I mean our billing person does not do those oh are you the one who do you the one who submits those yes and okay. that's what we're looking for I think is somebody that do the administrative work I mean Sure. Uh, I, again, I definitely would need to um, speak with, that's really not what I thought we were going to be talking all about today, but that's fine. I just definitely need to speak with my uh, county administrator on that and look at our staff time to be able to dedicate some to assist Marion County. I see that um, Deidre sent me the list of grants. It's not huge. The report should not be overwhelming. You have staff that are working in emergency preparedness. You have staff working on immunization. So I don't believe um, any kind of report to go in would be something that we would have to worry about besides the physical ones. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, and maybe just some guidance because I have pretty much, like I have all the folders and you know, the state pro provides guidance also but I was kind of, you know, like you and I had talked about um, in, the, in the future, maybe if this position isn't filled or if this position, um, someone is here, because I know in the past, and Randy might recall this, they, they had several administrators. They, you know would come on and then they it wasn't the job they thought it was oh yeah yeah and and if that happens is maybe in the future for satelliting or regionalizing you know right. that's what oh, yeah. we had here for those kind of references and things of that nature yeah or if they that preparedness field and um, immunization field for sure okay and because we i just thought that we needed to talk to you to fill you out to see if you're even a possibility if if needed yeah we'll be here again Cedar, you're popping in and out a little bit in my um, perception here but yes we'll, we'll be here for that kind of support for sure um, but initially I'm hearing that you're probably going to need some help for those FSRs to ensure that they get in for the October date yeah and that might okay. be you know phone calls like where do I go because the state is pretty good and pretty quick about um, responding however sometimes the answers don't come as quickly right 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 I also sure. yeah this is Randy I just also appreciate you thinking about you know if the if we end up here 30 days from now and say help us some more I do appreciate you thinking looking ahead to where what kind of things we could do at maybe 38 days down the line if things don't go good um, and financial responsibility would be Marion County's as far as I'm concerned I think the board feels that way too and um, but some guidance if if something happens 30 days down the road would you may figure on some time for that too with your plan that, sure. you, that sure. you first talked about so does anybody else have anything yeah. Because I'm, I'm kind of also thinking about WIC, you know, the WIC program and um, down the future a ways. You know, with, with professional staff.
in regards sorry was that in regards to the report for it or with in regards now we have our billing person completes those affidavits but just if down the road if we have like the dietitian you know decides to um you know retire at some point now that's i have no knowledge of that and that's down the road but i know that will be a position that might be hard to fill yeah yeah um, we actually share our dietitian with uh Sumner county right now oh okay is, is that due to to the job requirements and stuff that it is tough to fill or just Sumner County having problems like Marion County? Uh, I really, she has been here uh, longer than I. I'm going on 10 years, so I don't know how that got started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. Was it Sumner first and then we took her as well or if she yeah. her first and then went to Sumner? I don't know that history, but um, it definitely has worked out and I don't think she's going anywhere, cross my fingers. Um, we hope not. So, no. Yeah, I, I also believe it is difficult to find um, dietitians at this point as well. Okay. Some hard field. Okay. So, what would you require us to present to you then from this end if here in the, in the near future for you? Well, um, I would like to chat a little more with um, Deidre on how much. Uh, she really does need on the FSR and get some of those details down. Um, if it's just calls and helping direct, I mean, we're always here as a resource. That is not a problem. Again, back and forth, it's been very mutual between Harvey and Marion County. Um, if it's something deeper that we need to get into the files and get deeper with us to make sure that we submit it for uh, Marion, we'd be sure that uh, Kansas Department of Health and Environment knows that is happening and um, that's when I would probably come to you, you commissioners again and say here's an agreement that we can get this job done because I'm sure I've got to get some staff time on it but I just need to find out from you three uh, a little bit more of these details so that's where I think we are right now okay okay I will be willing to any time that you're going to have a meeting you'd like a representative to Marion County I, I think there's along with me to be another commissioner come and visit to the stay on board with you folks at any time so okay i appreciate that just give us a call whenever you do need us to come i mean somebody will be there Certainly. so i appreciate your time today is there any questions from the commission down at the other end of the table that's that wants that needs to be answered or this in the middle okay or deidre do you have any more to do you need to get with her i don't or think i think um Lynette, but if we, I mean, if we can extend our period the, for till the end of the month or even for a month, but beyond that, you know, I hate to extend it too long. So if that's the case, you know, like you mentioned, it would probably take staff time because we have to get to you all the affidavits you know, or the invoices and payroll right. records and everything so that that could be submitted because we submit all that as you know. Right. Okay, well, Deidre, can we just speak on that then? Yeah. A little bit later? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll finish up here with, in this session and, and then we'll let Deidre give you a call a little later here. Sounds good. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. you, Lynette. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, I think it'd be good for all of you. Give us an uh, estimate on doing the, the whole thing. Um, about this help, I mean, the reports every month. I think if you get a good applicant and that's something that in the future you work on because we do have slow times, you know,
throughout the year typically we haven't for quite some time now and um, that's something to kind of look for when this money um, the COVID money goes away because as you on that sheet that I sent you if you look above the IAP 4 the money actually runs from and I sent you the, the um, dollar amount in your email but that money runs till June 30 of 2024 and then the expanding infrastructure that runs till July 31 2023 all the other grants end June 30 Uh, How long is the grant for Marcy's position? Um, that grant is it just started, so that'll, I mean, that runs on the state fiscal year. Okay. July 1 to so, June 30. So yeah. is it every year we get a new grant? Every that's funding yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, so June 30. It's new funding, but does the grant say we're. we're 2023 it would no longer be happening. is there anything to that effect or do you know? no i mean that the preparedness grant you typically will continue just because there's issues like we got extra ebola money we got extra h1n1 money i mean that is to take care of emergencies so that i don't foresee going away is that an annual application yes that that I have to send in like when I did the state formula the IAP and the um, PHEP that's Marcy's okay. when you see that um, so do you have it listed somewhere when each grant application is due those are all due at once but do you have yes it I have that um, I think I put budgets for aid to local is typically due in March and then the WIC budget um, is typically due July and August it used to be due in June but it, things are a little bit different and then of course the county budget is in June so when so, you're saying budgets for these things that's the actual grant application yeah okay yeah, I should have said that's okay. I just want to make sure I understand the terminology. Yeah. Yeah. Talk the same language. Yeah. So did I hear you not say that you really don't have an office supervisor as of now that would step in? For I think for certain things, for certain things. they would um I don't know what the correct um, I think you probably need to visit with some of those folks in executive yeah. session to talk about right um, some yeah. of these questions yeah. 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 we're going to need somebody for 60 days probably just to be safe yes yeah and then now I do get that 300 a month for epi on call like i mentioned with the get like rabies calls or anything other than covid that you get on the weekends that i've already spoke with wanda and i've already spoke with the epi department at the state and they're moving up her to primary so that will go to wanda for now some places that goes to their preparedness coordinator but like harvey county for instance skip does their took training to do their epi investigations he's not a nurse and that was kind of the situation i mentioned before that if you can do the investigation because basically you follow this but then when people start asking you questions you know that's when it's really nice to have a nurse because you don't have to transfer them to someone to talk to. Yeah, for, for medical questions. Right, right. Okay. 
And so basically, if we can get the, like Tina said, the health officer, and if Tina's willing to do PIO with, and Dr. Hudson has been great about, he doesn't mind talking to the press. And he is home now? Um, We're on the 17th. So, and I don't know, do you have his email? I have it. Do you? Have would he okay. be willing, would, if he's back, you think he'd be willing? Well, we don't know. Ask him to come in the 20th. Does he have to quarantine? Well, he would probably hop on a virtual meeting. Or just yeah. 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 I wouldn't have to he be here. Be but right, right. Call. Yeah. He's usually pretty good about either getting on a phone call or virtual. I'm just wondering, have you talked to him what his expectations might be of, of I, while you're the, a new person's coming in and what while you're leaving? And I talked to him about possibly being the health officer for, um, you know, if you guys decided to split it, and he was gonna talk to Dr. Detweiler okay. and um, just see how much time it involved. Okay. And so I haven't had the opportunity to talk to him after he's talked to. seeing where this ties to that and I mean just the different sheets so it takes a minute to, to get caught up to speed and if I put more on the county clerk's position <laughs> I uh, would like to see some sort of reimbursement or something I'm just just saying that well, the health department isn't, I don't think they're required to have their own PIO, are you? A separate uh, one? No, we aren't. I mean, Marcy could under her, because she's had the, some of the training, you know. Um, I, as far as the grant reporting, it doesn't sound like it's all that complicated. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting kind of, user rights and and just figuring it out. Probably the same as what and, the other state reporting is and, like for other grants. You know, say. and I think they'll give you like whoever a extension. Like I'll ask them. I have an email sent in to two of the people up there. get an extension I think someone could just yeah, we can work just through pick that. Up. Conceivably we could hire a new health director that has had zero right. experience in that type of a setting. I mean how much time did it take you to get all out of your wing when you started? Well it did take take a while because yeah. I, I didn't have an orientation and you Pretty either. much, yeah. and and you just call. I mean, but I'm the kind of person, and I hope they're they if they yeah. don't know it, they'll call. Yeah. Like I'll call until and call and call till I get the answer. Right. You know, and so we'll have phone numbers, we'll have support. I mean, the chances of getting someone who has done this. It's probably slim. Yeah. I mean, it'd be great, and everybody's gonna have their own styles, you know. But there's report, there's past records sitting in your office. Oh yeah. That's pretty much the same flow. Maybe a few different questions. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I have you. like all my grants, and I was right. telling the staff where they're located. Um, I, I really think that we could probably provide some support in that too because since I have more staff. Yeah. You know. yeah. And and some of that is 
even maybe if you know I'm not sure you know Kim just came on yeah. and she's pretty has picked up things pretty quickly and so you know that might the thing that's going to throw a little bit of kink into the, all this is flu season the flu shots mm -hmm. are coming out and I know they're trying to get um, get the flu clinics all set up, get mass mailings out so they can. That's right around the corner, isn't it? Yeah. So. Any other questions, Commissioner, that you want to cover? Nothing. Uh, much information for me. I don't know if, if did you update the board with if there's any more applicants that we have. So far I, I think we've just seen one just seen come one. through yeah. online. So okay. um, I do have a question. Can okay. I ask a question? Yes. Yes. So when do you want to try to set up to talk with the other staff? Do you I mean I hate to wait until Monday because you know on Monday you probably need to take some sort of action. Do you want, well, Wanda's not here today. Wanda's here tomorrow. Jess is here today. <laughs> um, Jess will be here tomorrow afternoon and Friday afternoon. Um, do you, is there any way that someone can come, come talk to them? Just one person come, you know, talk to them and find out their feelings. Yep. Should be two, two of us. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's... I mean, I think it's okay, but I think you're still going to have to regroup and talk about it yeah. as, oh, yeah. right. as a group then, too, Absolutely. before right. you, know, you take any action. But so. it would show the group at the health office that we care to come, come, come talk to them. Well, I and I do know they here. they appreciate that um, when you guys come because yeah. and they're the ones that actually lived through it when I was off. You know, of course they still call, and now it's my understanding they can. So you're nobody now. Yeah. So what, yeah. What, yeah. what day is everybody going to be there? Well, I mean, can't all fish that presentation. Uh, do what? I asked what, what day everybody's going to be there. Uh, <laughs> Thursday or Friday? Or? Unless you're talking about her stuff. Wanda will yeah. be there so, so. Thursday afternoon. Jess will be there Thursday afternoon. Tomorrow, that's tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Wanda will be there Friday. She'll be there. Wanda. Is that a good time? Two o'clock? What's a good time? What um, what day? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow yeah. said uh, uh oh community yes. health thing. Yeah. At Tabor. Uh, yes. During lunch. It makes That's over it. one one thirty. Or one o'clock. Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty to one. Eleven thirty to one. Yeah, a little bit later. Yeah. <coughs> three o'clock. So three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, that should work. So have them come here at three. Yeah, we'll go up there. Okay. I will. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Okay. You take Dave and I are get there at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Unless okay. somebody else wants to go through. If we're going to 3, we have to have a special meeting. Well, oh, they're I'm, just talking about well, two, I two think commissioners. Two people at 3 o'clock. If someone just asks, ask them so you get it straight from them, what they will and and I'm happy to be involved in anything yeah. like that too if I need to be as the HR. Does anybody person. volunteer want to go? I mean, if you can't, if you want to go, I, I have no problem with that. If you want I, to go, doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I mean, Dave wants to go. Yeah. Both days are shaking their heads. No, no, they both are. Both are. <laughs> <laughs> Same days, they both are. Crow foot's going. Because I think a couple are coming tomorrow, right? Yeah. 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 You guys go to Hillsborough. Yeah, you guys all going? Huh? It's a free lunch. 
Yeah, but that's not yeah. the purpose. Three, but not free, right? Yeah. Three, three. Well, every, it's every time three, I see you, but... there's some, something free going on. <laughs> some people have to work for a living. Come over here to see the. It's the yeah. needs assessment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Teachers. Yeah. There you go. Cookies. Well, Dave Crowfoot and Kent, if you want to go tomorrow at three o'clock, I'm, I'm more than willing to step step down for that because uh, somebody needs to be there. Be two of us, like you said, Tina two of us needs to be there. Are they, if Tina could go, uh, yes, Tina be. at three o'clock. Uh, yeah, I think I can. I've got a tomorrow's kind of a crazy, crazy day, but I think I should be able to do it at three. And now I've got another meeting that I can push back a little. I think at three thirty. So. So then I'll two. Three, two, I mean, two, I won't be able to go any earlier oh, than three because okay. I've got an out of town meeting in the morning tomorrow. Yeah. So three o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock in the middle of work tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. I think I can make it. Okay. I I appreciate it. Thank you, Kim, for going tomorrow three, and Dave for mm -hmm. Did you were you wanting to go, Dave? No, oh, that's fine. I'm going to Hillsboro. <laughs> Okay, so it'll be Dave Crowfoot. Yeah, okay. And if something happens, give me a call because somebody can't make it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a text. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. I had to call yeah. him this morning. It's like, it just happens. Yeah. Is that meeting at nine? And he's like, no, no, one, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, I'll call it. I'll text you back. Yeah. 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 I was ready to be late, I guess, tonight this morning. There's no other business on our uh, meeting agenda here. So, uh, Did you want to tell us anything else? I can't think of anything. I mean, things will come up. Like when I was writing that email, it's like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And little things that I, yeah. I do. Send us lots of emails this week. Let's yeah. write down bullet points. Yeah, that's what I contact phone numbers and emails are about the best. And the only other thing that I'd have is, is last night I stopped in and that's how I found out there was a, there was a long application. Uh, would we want to set up a meeting for next to contact this person to see it for an interview next week and see? See if they're what are the application applications. It's started? open until filled. Oh, yeah. um, and this, this yeah. week and next week in the paper part is it? Is this the second week? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'd have to look no, at that. Was just two I, weeks. Cherry was taking care of all that for me, and was I was on first. I think I remember two runnings. Yeah, and then we uh, went to Wichita Eagle. I think for just one Sunday, but we also were online. For 30 days there. Is that we're with KAC for I've heard one you guys month. talk about I've never except seeing on TV indeed. Is that <laughs> it sticks in your head though? Uh, yeah it does. I need indeed, indeed you do. But does that <laughs> need to, I mean I don't know. We, we have, have gotten some applications. It works real well. Indeed. Does it? Yeah. It works better if you do a sponsored job and it but it gets expensive yeah. if you do it that way. And with right. with the ad that we put in the free press and the Newton paper and all those, we it is supposed to be posted on Indeed also. Oh. But it's supposed to be. Yeah. Huh. So okay. Mary Mary County Records two weeks, free press two weeks. Harvey County and First County Ledger is also put in. And you do it through case. Case. Yep. As a monthly. And it's on our website. Okay. Do you have any listservs that you participate in that would like professional nurses, like professional organizations where you have an email okay. list that we could send that out on? Check. Like nursing organizations? Um, you know, the Kansas State Board of Nursing. Yes. Um, yeah. that, that would be a, a good you know, group if, if we're able to advertise through that. Maybe, of course, this is the wrong time of the year, but colleges. You know, we're often nursing programs. Well, this is this is the first for this position since I've sat here. I thought at one time this lady was going to leave and go somewhere else, and then she decided to stay. And so, uh, it is a first for quite a few years for this position. So, uh, I don't think there's anybody here that has a lot of experience in this, except for Dave and in this position, and no experience here to, to 
guide this, so we need to dig down and get something going. I guess set up an interview. If we've got one, set up an interview. That's, that's what I'm saying. I just won't hurt to do an interview and get it done and, and see if the person's after them. The only thing we need probably is a set pace range, uh, but that's already set by that new pavement. list of what the job requirements are and are go through that. So we'll con contact her, contact this person, see what they're available to come for an interview. May have you do that. Yeah. Contact them, see when they are available for an interview. It's an evening or meeting yeah, time. You still want to consider just being a consultant? Well can't I can't. Change. What is the That's limit? Good. That's what my the girls are asking. Oh, yeah, is you can't have any or kind, 90 It's or? 60 days, okay. and then also you can't have any prearranged right. agreements in place. Oh, that's right. It's Kate, Kate yeah, Kate 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 yeah. <laughs> I signed that. Uh, you signed it. Yeah. I mean, but I won't. You know, I'm competing or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know how many double dippers there are in the world? Triple dippers? The Kansas is the right to work state. Non compete don't, don't work. It's not a non compete, it's just a retirement it's um, a requirement in the law that you can't. And something to think about too is if boosters come about, if they're any late words on it, I haven't heard much lately. I haven't heard either. I think right now they're um, still working out the mandates of vaccinations which will potentially hurt the work first nobody else has anything you just you just one last thing but we put one last thing yes uh, was someone going to contact dr hodson about the interim interim health officer i will get the phone number and call call because we're doing to wrap that up Yes, I would do that today. Randy, do you want his phone number? She's got it. Okay. Okay. And the email too. Okay. Yeah, like an email might actually. Help. Okay. Yeah, but if you um, send him an email text, text say check your emails. Oh, okay. Okay. This is only closer. Yeah. I'm that way too. I'm not stand in front of a computer my phone doesn't get the notifications so when i get a text then it reminds me yeah with that being said any nothing else i'll make a motion to adjourn second second all right all those favor say aye aye, aye. thank you mm -hmm. yeah I'll good luck you guys tomorrow. Then... Hey, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So is, is somebody coming to talk or just... yeah it's very very